So this video is an intro to instantaneous rates of change. Now, you're not really going to do any maths here, you're just going to understand a concept. That's it. Intro to instantaneous rates of change. Now, in a past video, we looked at a, a pilot. Um, you'll remember this function here. And you'll remember that he's flying up, and he's coming back down, and he's flying up again. Uh, seconds, meters. And we were finding average rates of change. We were doing that by finding this point, finding this point, drawing a line between them, finding the gradient of that line, and that was our average rate of change. Now, this video is about instantaneous rate of change. Now, you can see, oops, let's get rid of that. You can see that when we look at these points, our average rate of change between this point and this point is just slightly positive. Just, slight, just a gentle slope. That's not what happened. This guy went up really fast, and then he went down pretty fast, and he's back here. So the average rate of change doesn't really tell the whole story. What I can do is bring our points closer together. Closer and closer and closer together. Now my average rate of change as I move it closer together is more indicative, more, more true to the whole story here. You can see my gradient looks pretty steep downwards. What really happened during this flight was he was moving steadily downwards and then he started to go downwards faster. So my, this is a much better indication of that particular rate of change at that particular time. If I move these closer together again, now you can see my average rate of change is getting even closer, even closer together. It's almost telling the story, but you can also see that purple line still a bit of a curve. If I keep moving closer and closer and closer and closer and closer, what I'm getting are two points that are giving me very close to my rate of change at an instant, an instantaneous rate of change. If I move closer and closer, if my mouse allows me to, I'm getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to that instant. This time I've got two points, one at 10 and one at 10.05. That's 0 0.05 seconds, one after the other. That's a really good indication of my exact, my, sorry, my instantaneous rate of change at that exact moment. Now we can do some mathematical trickery and bring that space together so that it's very, very close to zero. We can't make the space zero. See, now I've made 1.10 and 1.10, so 10, 10. When I do that, I can't draw a line between two points because the two points are sitting on top of each other. I need to keep the two points just slightly apart. There's 10 and there's 10.01. As long as I've got two points that are just a little bit next to each other, I can draw a line through them. That's very, very close to my instantaneous rate of change, but it's not quite my instantaneous rate of change. Not quite. All right, there's the basic idea behind in instantaneous rates of change. In the next video, we're gonna do some really, really heavy duty maths, heaps and heaps of algebra, really, really complicated in order to deal with this situation where we have an instantaneous rate of change.